Rated G. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer here, and we are playing Train Sim World 2020 on the PC yet again. We're going to go ahead and do another East Coast Way scenario as we've been doing on YouTube. And next in line is going to be the Enthusiast Excursion. It's about 40 minutes long, relatively easy from what it's saying. Uh, description basically says operate a non stop run between Brighton and Eastbourne as part of a special train running along the south coast using the class 377 4SN. Um, now it says non stop run from Brighton, which is right here, over to Eastbourne, Eastbourne, however you pronounce it. Um, I don't know if that means we're going straight through or we're actually just doing a non stop run, stopping at each station all the way through. So I guess we'll find out. It's 40 minutes long. My assumption is we have stops along the way. I don't know why it would take 40 minutes to get from here to there, but maybe it does. I really don't know. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Enthusiast Excursion. I got my coffee, so I'm waking up slowly. Sorry if my eyes look red. I've been sleeping. Was that River? River Simulator right there? Mmm. Starbucks coffee is amazing. Crazy expensive, but it's uh, still amazing nonetheless. I have a slight addiction to it. Still need to get that right there. Peninsula Corridor. All right, Enthusiast Excursion. Let's see how this is. Let me adjust my volume. Oh. I don't know where to go. Welcome to Brighton. A special enthusiast train has been laid out on to explore the south coast. You will be operating the train as far as Eastbourne. Alright, I'm assuming it's this one, but we'll find out here in a minute. Uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. So, I'm going to actually do... Or actually set up the lights for... headlights I need tail lights I'm just gonna turn the tail lights on to make it more realistic as we're going along that's how we would properly set this up all right let's make the run down to the front of the train and it looks like it's a consist of eight cars I'm assuming yep I'm gonna go with eight on this one I still haven't had a 12 or a train that's 12 long I don't know if that has any scenarios that use 12 cars but I know it is possible. AI train coming in. That's a long train right there, too. Jesus. I don't want to mess with the window. I just want the door. Not the window. The door. There we go. Let's go ahead and sit down. So, master key on. I'm actually going to turn the lights on day running as well, so we're properly set up. Reverser forward. Oh, i got to turn the... There we go. Okay, prepare the train. I think it's prepared as far as I know. I just did the cargo class 66 train last time, so AC's on minimum, which is fine. Unlock the doors. Gauge light is on. We don't need windshield wipers. I'm not going to use the cruise control, so we can leave that off. I think we're properly set up. Can I close? I'm going to go ahead and close that door. We don't need that open for any reason. Beautiful Brighton Station, as you can see. Lovely terminal. Great place to have a cup of coffee, if I do say so myself. Anyways, if you're watching these videos, please, please go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the like button on the video. It greatly helps me out as well. All right, locking the doors. We will be headed out here in a minute. And I know we have a red signal ahead. I'm just going to get moving slowly. I know they probably wouldn't do this in the real world, but we'll see what happens. I'm assuming we'll get a green light as soon as this AI train comes in. Um... Yeah, I did that already. And we're going to Lewis. Uh, thank you for the comment, whoever that was. I think it was Adam that told me how to pronounce the name of this town. It's Lewis, hopefully, I'm assuming. Because on the last video, it was like, lose, lose, lose. 
So it may be a straight through run. It's 7.2 miles and it's a via, which basically means we're just going by that location. So this should be interesting. We may not be stopping at all. We may be just running the entire route, which is cool. I'll get to see the entire route from start to finish, which I have yet to do. Ooh, and I'm almost speeding right there. That would have been bad, right? Really curious to see how this entire route looks and as we snake around this turn right here. So this kind of platform always catches me off guard. It looks like it's going downhill right here. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe because the street to the right is going uphill. It's almost like an optical illusion, but you can see on the, uh, the terrain incline decline meter to the bottom right on the gauge cluster it says 0.0% we're actually going uphill now which is kind of crazy so to me it's an optical illusion maybe I'm just seeing that let me know what you guys think in the comments below I'm kind of curious and we'll get clearance up to about 70 miles per hour in less than a mile Definitely going uphill, for sure. All right, clearance to 55 already. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And I don't know if there's a set timetable, per se, on this at all, but I guess we'll find out towards the end. Should get clearance to 70 miles per hour here in just a second. And hopefully it stays like that for a while. That'd be nice, right? So I got clearance to 70, but we do have to be under 60 in less than a mile. Let's go ahead and go to notch four. Still love the uh, engine for Train Sim World. Can't say that enough. Thank you, Dovetail Games, for upgrading the Train Simulator engine after so many years. So I gotta break anyways down the 60 miles per hour here in a minute. There we go, under 60 because we're going uphill, coasting. see what this has in store for us. Right, we'll be able to go back up to 70 miles per hour. I know it goes down pretty low on one of the turns coming up. And let me just look at the map to see where we're at after this train by. Beautiful looking train, if I do say so myself. just want to see where we're at. I think it slows down right in this area for this little curve. So i got to keep in mind once we get close to that section. speed up a little bit. Always love some tunnels. Nice relaxing drive. You can turn the cab light on if you really want to. And let's go ahead and speed up to 70 miles per hour.
We've got a 1%, over 1% decline, so I gotta watch the speed a little bit coming down this hill. Probably be a lot of braking and coasting. All right, slowing down to 55 miles per hour in about two miles. It's probably in preparation for close to the via point where we have to get down, to, I think 35 miles per hour, somewhere in there. Love watching the train stink through the hills. Always a wonderful sight. Seems like a relatively easy, not scenario per se, although the scenario is probably pretty easy, but route in general. Class 377 super responsive to, to uh, braking and everything else, which makes it definitely a, a whole lot easier to get going and stopping. Down to 55 coming up. And I'm assuming we're going to have to go slower even after the fact. So, all right, reward earned, driven 37 miles. I'll take that. applying some brake pressure so yeah we're gonna get down to 35 oh actually down to 10 miles per hour coming up it's quite a bit slower than what I thought so we must be changing tracks coming up and start slowing down. get on the outside for this. Love the AI trains passing by. Definitely could have braked a little bit later. Rather be on the safe side though. Especially since we're not really on any type of timetable as far as I know, with making multiple stops. I don't know what we're doing up here. Usually it, this turns 35 miles per hour. It must be going off to the very, very left platform. So yeah, super slow on the left platform right here. We'll be able to get up to 20 miles per hour here in a minute though, which is nice. We'll look at the map, but we're right on that little hard bend 
of the route, and there's really only one. It's not like um, the very first route that came out with there's there a lot of hard turns and twists through the mountains. Okay, so yeah, we're going all the way from Brighton to Eastbourne. Eastbourne, however you pronounce it. Super th slow through here. Definitely want to pick up some more speed. We've got 14 miles to go, it looks like, to our final destination. I don't know, has it? Is this thing really take 40 minutes? We probably slow down quite a bit in the future, but we're only about, what, maybe 14, 15 minutes into this so far? So we'll find out. Alright, should get clearance up to 20 here in a second, then up to 60 shortly after. As soon as the back end reaches that section. I should be any second now. There we go. Looks like I've got clearance up to 40 directly after, and then we'll be up to 60 here in a minute. There's clearance for 60 right there. Clearly labeled on the track. And we'll actually be able to get back up to 70 miles per hour. And again, not not a whole let's say not not very long to go. It's only 13 miles left. If we're doing 70 miles per hour most of the time, we're gonna be knocking these miles out relatively quickly. Max power, which is notch four right there. Let's see, the class 377 definitely picks up really, really fast. Should be cleared to 70 any second. There we go. We'll actually get clearance up to 80, which is nice. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with this route. It's, it is short. I do agree with some of the comments that it should be much longer for what you're paying. Um, I always wish there was more scenarios. I wish they would have like 50, instead of doing like the timetables and the, the journey or whatever you want to call it, I wish they would have like 20 scenarios with some being very difficult to actually complete. That would um, be nice. It also remind me of the kind of the old train simulator where you had to get a thousand of a thousand points. I wish they'd bring some type of harder mastery system back, but I guess this is more realistic to actually drive in real trains too, so I can't really complain. Alright, up to 80. It says we're going to get clearance up to 90. 12 miles to go in the Eastbourne. We are hauling right now. You can feel the speed, unlike Train Simulator. The old Train Sim, I should say. Look at the map just really quickly. 
See, there's where we're at. Past that kind of hard, slow section right there by Lewis, and then we're heading down to East Bullen. Oop, don't want to do that. We'll get in cab. That's what I was trying to do. I'm going to stay in the cab for just a minute. Keep an eye on my speed as we get up to 90 here in just a second. I think this would be a relatively easy uh, route to do without any of the HUD as well. I mean, I pretty much almost memorize it. And the signage on the track is super clear. Right, let's go and get up to 90. I don't think I've been up this fast. Is there a max speed on this thing? I don't, oh, max speed's 100 miles per hour. So it's about as fast as you want to go. 90 miles per hour is safe. You don't want to... Just because it says you can do 100 doesn't mean you want to do 100. Just because an F-350 can do 110 on the high doesn't mean you want to go that fast. All right. Definitely making some good time now. Nine miles to go. Nice relaxing portion of the journey. Actually losing a bit of speed on this incline right here. Already down to eight miles. I do see um, I need to blow the horn coming up. Passing by another platform. And let's go ahead and start slowing down because we are going downhill. We gotta get under 80 coming up. Super fast portion of the route right there. As you can see, 90 miles per hour. Go and put it at 78. Go. Oh, oh, sorry, I was breaking, Jesus. If I was hitting the power, I was actually braking really hard. Sorry, passengers. That was uh, what you're not supposed to do as an engineer. Pretty sure I gave someone a jolt spilling coffee on themselves. Probably going to get sued for that. It's all right, though. <laughs> it's actually back up to 90. Although we have to get down to 35 miles per hour coming up. So it's supposed to be at Eastbourne at 1631, so it is on a timetable. I lost a little bit of speed right there, which is not good. But I think we'll be alright. I feel like we've been... Uh, going fairly quickly throughout the course of this route. And we'll 
start breaking here in a minute. Maybe about a mile out. Look at another slow section coming up. We still got about four miles to go. Let's go ahead and get under 35. A little bit better at braking on this section. I don't feel like I was braking too early. Like on that last bit where we had to get down to 10 miles per hour. I'm going slightly downhill, so let me break just a bit more. I guess we just got one little turn right here. That's what it looks like. And we'll be right back up to 70 miles per hour on the final leg into Eastbourne. All right, should get clearance to 70 right about now. Power back up. Three and a half miles to go. Uh, we're at 16, 25, 26. We've got to be there by 16, 31. Three and a half miles to go. I think we're making decent time. I'm hoping we are. We'll find out here in a second, though. Just keep an eye, waiting for the speed reduction, I'm sure, is coming up here any minute now. Five miles per hour and 2.3 miles that will start the deacceleration or deceleration headed into the final terminal station platform whatever you want to call it Still making decent time. It's going to be close, I think. So I'm going to try to break a little bit later than normal. I'm going to go ahead and get in the cab for this. I'm hoping for the gold medal. I don't want to redo the scenario if I don't have to. A different locomotive right there. Like the one on the Trans Pennine route. Alright, down to 55. Next probably be 45, I'm assuming. Nope, oh, actually 25, Jesus. Double yellow.
followed by a single yellow, and then it looks like our final stop coming in. Got about two minutes to get in there, so hoping we're making decent time again. It one small like braking mistake. I don't think it was that big of an issue, but I'm sure there'll be a uh, passenger or two that might complain. Unfortunately, slow down just a tad bit, and we're cleared into the final stop. It's going to be close. We're almost at 16:30. Be really close. I think we'll make it. So we were on a timetable. Was not aware. No one told me. Thank you, bosses, for uh, setting me up for failure. It looks like I'm still gonna make it either way. Hopefully, got exactly a minute to get in there. I think it gives you a minute pass, but if we can do it within the minute, that'd be great. make it just on time too with a couple seconds to spare. Let's go ahead and unlock the left. Uh, thank you for ensuring it remains fault free. You're very very welcome. Thank you boss for uh, not telling me about the timetable. Other than that it was a excellent journey. So that was actually the full route right there. That's I liked it. Pretty neat. I could do that a few times. Relatively short. So I think this is a good one if you don't have a whole lot of time in the day, you know, an hour plus to do an entire um, route. This would be a good one to do. It says wait until 16.31.30. I'm assuming the scenario will hopefully end at that point. Or who knows, we may have to turn around and go back. But it definitely wasn't 40 minutes. I think it's going to be about a 30 minute run right there. So uh, I guess it says we're disembarking. Oh, it wants us to actually turn stuff off. Just kidding, guys. And I'll go ahead and turn the tail lights on and the running lights off. It says climb down. All right, let's get out of here. Perfect. 32 minutes. Way less than what was expected. Earned a gold medal right there, which I'm happy about. And we're now level 6 on, again, I've reset my profile so many times by changing hard drives and things. Unfortunately, I lost all my past experience, but I'm back to level 6 right now, which is nice. Um, time taken 32 minutes, 8 seconds, distance driven 23.79 miles, and I walked 255.98 yards for a score of 5,099. Anyways, guys, thank you, thank you for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Yet again, feel free to comment below. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what you want me to play next, you can go ahead and put that below as well. Um, anyways, please, please subscribe to the Middle Age Gamer. I'll eventually be live streaming at twitch.tv slash Middle Age Gamer as well, so you can add me on there. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.